Hi there, I'm Alex, and I have lived with acne ever since I hit puberty or adolescence. And it's been moderate acne. I've known a lot of people who have a lot more severe acne than I do. But I want to share with you my journey and some, some principles that I've learned uh, of like what to do and what not to do. <laughs> For example, one thing not to do, I once put a uh, hand sanitizer on acne, uh, on this zit that was like on my shoulder or on my neck. I put the hand sanitizer on it um, and it stung like crazy, like it had been broken open and it stung really bad. And then the next few days, it grew into this massive pimple acne thing and it was so painful. It's like I couldn't move my neck. It was like this huge, huge thing, bigger than anything that has like ever grown on my face or on my body. It was bad. And it's just full of yucky pus and stuff. And it wasn't a good experience. Anyway, that's one thing I learned that you don't want to do. Some other things about my experience. So I remember in my adolescence that my acne traveled to different parts of my body. So I can't remember exactly, but I think it might have started around my nose. And then um, I think it went up to like my forehead, getting zits and acne. And then I think it traveled down to either like my cheek area. And then as I got older, I think it traveled towards my chin and my neck area and my uh, neck and back and even a little bit on my on one of my thighs um, on my upper thigh and um, anyway that's been my experience I've even had some some like acne randomly on like my forearms and they always happen in like the same spots and one thing that's kind of an interesting principle I've learned about at least acne, the way I've experienced it, is that um, it often will be in the same exact place on your body, more or less. Like, so if you have like a zit here, you'll often get a zit right here. If you have a zit that shows up right here, you'll often get a zit right here. I mean, it's not like a perfect reflection, but for me, a lot of the times it's been that way. And if I get a zit on my arm right here, I'll get a zit on my arm right here. And it's like goofy. Um, I haven't noticed that as much. Acne hasn't honestly been a big issue for me for the past several years. But during adolescence, when I was in middle school and high school and wanting to be attractive and look nice and not have a face that had all these acne and scars, um, that was a, it was a big concern. Anyway, so that's kind of where acne has traveled uh, for me, different parts of my body. Um, I've tried a bunch of medications. I have not tried any oral medications. For example, I've heard that Accutane is very effective. I've had, I've met people, friends who have used Accutane. Um, our family, we didn't get it. In part, it was very expensive. It seemed like it costed a dollar or more per tablet that you had to take. And one of the side effects potentially was to feel suicidal or like struggle emotionally that it could like mess with your hormones and how you feel and i don't think my parents wanted to deal with me with more hormonal problems and mood issues and so they thought it would be better to not do that um, because of the price and because of the side effects it could potentially have on me um, and I think I did see some of those side effects uh, in people that had Accutane. They'd have a clear complexion, but it seemed like some of them struggled with depression or other kind of mental, emotional challenges. Um, but I felt like I was, I was able to feel happy despite the acne and ultimately to accept myself and to not be self-conscious about caring how I look or what others think of me. And that has been a huge blessing and benefit to my life since I learned that lesson. Um, some other things I tried, I tried a bunch of different topical ointments 
that had different chemicals. Um, one was like this alcohol rub where you get like a, um, oh, what do they call it, a cotton ball, and you get it wet with this kind of like, I think it had silicic acid in it maybe, and you just put it over your acne and it would kind of dry it up and like kill bacteria. Um, another thing that seemed more effective was this like white gel that you could put on your acne. Um, I'm trying to remember the active ingredient name. Um, it's been a few years since I've used these, <laughs> but I would use that gel sometimes in the shower. There was like shower scrubs to kind of help clear your pores and kind of dry them out, get the oils out, kill the bacteria. Um, and you know, it's hard because it seems like sometimes the medication would like aggravate your problem. Sometimes it would help your problem. Anyways, I know it can be really confusing. Another thing that makes it really hard, at least it was hard for me, is trying to figure out which foods trigger acne. I mean, it's hard because I, I would have tons of different foods that would trigger my acne. Um, like, for example, milk seemed like it would trigger my acne and make it get worse. Uh, chocolate, nuts salty things, oily things, um, just about anything. Like I tried so many different diets where I would just eat like wheat and it would seem like it was getting better, but then it would like get bad. And um, it, it's kind of more like I just had to wait for my body to run its course hormonally. And um, since I've been older and since being married, it hasn't really been an issue as much. And if I don't touch my acne, it usually can heal. If I like touch my acne or pick at it, then it comes back. But if I, if I don't, and if I don't eat lots of like fatty, oily foods, um, I think raisins as well might cause acne for me. Anyway, it's, I know how stressful, it can be incredibly stressful to figure out what to eat, what treatments to take to help your acne. I mean, I do think like exercising, sweating, and then immediately showering uh, to rinse out and clean out your pores. It seems like that, that helps. Probably the biggest thing is just to not touch your acne. Um, if you squeeze your acne, it can make your pores get stretched more than they would be already from them getting large with pus. It can cause more scarring. Now, some people, I had moderate acne, which I felt was bad. There's times where I, you know, I felt like I had a lot of acne, but as I've gotten older, I've seen that there's people who have had much more severe acne that causes massive scarring. Um, and um, they'd probably be more of an expert on acne than I am. But um, from my experience, you don't want to pop or pick your acne. You just let it run its natural course, keep it clean, eat healthy, exercise. For most people, it will disappear naturally as they become an adult, um, as long as they don't, as they keep clean and exercise and eat healthy. Um, so those are just some of my personal experiences with acne. Um, if you have acne or a loved one with acne, I'd love if you want to share any insights that you've gained from your experience, things you've learned about, about how it all works. Um, maybe there's, I mean, maybe there's some new drugs or, or treatments that you can take that maybe are better than Accutane, but still get the same effect without all the potential mood problems that Accutane could cause. Um, I'd be very curious to know what you have to say. And if you're struggling with acne and you're struggling with feeling unattractive or feeling down on yourself, I think my words of advice for you would be just don't try not to focus on, on what others think of you. If you can detach your self, your feeling of self-worth from how others view you, it will free you to live a more fulfilling, full life and to become more attractive to other people because you'll be more happy and so forth. 
Um, it really doesn't matter what people think. Honestly, people don't care about your acne as much as you do. You might feel self-conscious looking in the mirror every day at yourself and being like, oh, I don't feel as attractive because I have acne. But other people, you know, you're not the only person that they know who has acne. They know lots of people, most likely, who have acne of varying extents. And the vast majority of them do not judge you for your health condition, for your acne. Um, they're, they're grateful that they maybe don't have as much of an acne problem as you do. But, uh, I mean, if they're your friend uh, and other people, if they make fun of you, it's just because of their probably adolescence and they make fun of anyone for whatever purpose. It's just, it says more about them than it does about you when they make fun of you. It says something bad or not favorable about about them and their behavior and their attitudes and personality than it does about yourself. Your health condition, your acne or pimples or zits, whatever you want to call it, does not define you. It's it's just part of your environment, really. And there's certain things you can do to help it depending on your condition. But yeah, don't feel bad about it. I know I felt bad about it. It took me many years to not feel bad about it. And it's easier now that it's not as much of an issue. It still happens, um, especially if I eat like lots of oily stuff, then it might break out a little bit, but usually heals up pretty quickly within a week or so. Anyway, I hope this video has been helpful. And just keep the faith. Be kind to people who have acne. Um, don't treat them any differently than if they didn't have acne. Uh, I wouldn't draw attention to it. It might make them feel more um, self-conscious about it. If they bring it up, you can just let them know that you don't care. Like, you're their friend. And because they're your friend, like, you, you like them as a person. You're not being their friend because they have a clear complexion. So... Anyway, I hope this video is helpful for you and I hope you have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.